Okay, it's me again. Some of y'all didn't hear a while ago. <laughs> so I'm back. Um, so the next grant that I've gotten for is I'm trying all this crazy stuff going on, so this may bomb, I don't know, but we're going to try it. Um, if you've ever heard of the breakout rooms, it's the new hot big thing coming on. So uh, last year I stole all these ideas from the summits from the uh, spring. Um, there was a um, the Perry County and Floyd County, their uh, instructional coaches had bought breakout boxes and they did it with their uh, staff and I thought how fun to do that because you know staff meetings are always so boring and there's nothing exciting ever that goes on. Um, and she had talked about these new breakout kits for um, the classroom and what it is is the lessons are already made. You don't even have to do anything. You just click on the website and you can print them. But the goal is, um, I had talked to a teacher and she said that her kids have gotten to the point that they've made their own breakout lessons, which I think is amazing because if they can get to that point, um, then they really are understanding um, critical thinking skills. And that's what my whole grant with these are about is, in math class, especially with the little ones, they think the word help means tell me the answer. <laughs> help me, Miss Alicia, help me, I don't know what's going on. Well, okay, think about it. And I don't know, but my kids, um, especially we have such a wide variety like I have one little group they always want to be right uh, we went to a training last week um, the new buzzword is like a fixed mindset and a growing mindset I don't know if anybody's ever heard anybody talk about that but we have one little group that's a fixed mindset they want to be right the first time they don't want to be wrong if they're wrong well they're done um, and I'm hoping with these boxes is that it helps them fail forward so if they don't get it right the first time and they don't unlock the first lock it's okay, we're gonna keep on going. Um, and I'm hoping it gets them out of that mind that we're learning from our mistakes and not just I'm failing at this, that we're growing it in, in a process. Um, but one of my, um, sorry guys. One of my objectives was is that they do become a better critical thinker and collaborative thinkers. Um, we have a lot of kids in our classroom who are, they're very diverse. We have one little group who are, we got, you know, top of the line kids and then you got your bottom of the barrel kids who they just cannot communicate with each other. But what I have learned through talking to other educators about these boxes is it kind of unifies everybody and it gives them a common goal because without all the pieces of the puzzle, the puzzle's not going to get complete. One child may be really good at um, solving this word problem and another child may be really good at um, how to show their work, and if they come together as a team, then I hope it, I really hope it unifies them. Um, when I was researching all these things about how to help this little group of kids, because um, this is probably the most IEP kids we've ever had um, in the third and fourth grade, and it's a, probably about a third, probably a third, of, a third of our kids have an IEP this year, and they're just not on grade level, and they're really, really extremely low. And when I got to try to research about how can I reach these kids this year. Words like activating strategy, limited lecture, movement, higher order thinking questions, and student center popped up every website that I looked. And everything that I researched about these breakout boxes lets me kind of step aside and gives them all the control of the classroom so that they're becoming the problem solvers and not so dependent on me. Because right now they want the baby food and we need to get on some steak and potatoes because right now we're in October and they're still coming over here I mean, I give them that word problem, and you know how it is. They don't even read it. They just hear they come, and it's a line like at the amusement park, and they're all standing there at you, and they're, you're, they're looking at you like, I don't know what's going on, and you, did you read it? No. <laughs> well, that's number one. We need to read and think, take a minute to think about it. Um, so I'm hoping with some kind of competitive guide with these breakout boxes, because we all know children. They want to be the best with each other, and they want to beat somebody. Um, I ordered six kits. Now, I think they told me before, you can make these yourself. Like, you can go to Lowe's, get a box, and get all these different keys for, like, $75. These kits are $125. Um, they told me that two boxes would do a classroom because, in my mind, and, in, you know, in elementary, you want that perfect little four group. you got you four jobs, and they all have, they've got that specific thing to do. But they said, with this, you need, like, 10 to 11 kids per box because it takes a lot of things to get that activity done and there's a lot of different jobs to be to, to have. So I'm hoping to get my whole school on board. <laughs> They're not too excited about it, but I'm hoping to do a training with this. <laughs> uh, I've not gotten these yet, none of my stuff's came in, so I'm just kind of, I'm not done in this, I'm just going based on hearsay, which we all know how that goes sometimes, but um, I'm hoping to do a training, I'm not even talking to my principal about that yet, but I want to because I think if we can get teachers on board and let them see how fun it is, that maybe then they will be more involved with our kids. 
Um, because, you know, you always got some teachers who are like, well, you try that. Well, that's too much work on me. I ain't going there. Nope, no thank you. Pass on. I'm going to keep a little textbook up here. So I'm hoping if they try it and they have fun with it, then they're going to be uh, more willing to implement it into their classroom. Um, some objectives that I have. I just want them to gain confidence in math. I think kids are just, they hate math. They're less confident in it because it's a struggle. A lot of kids aren't math-minded. I love math. I finally got to teach math all day this year after seven years. I was like, whoo, I'm finally all math. So I'm trying to get them as excited as I am about it. Um, trying to think of what else. To communicate with each other. Our kids can't talk to each other. We had another training on that, okay? It's, well, what do you think about their answer? It's good. Why? What, they got the right answer. Okay, well, why did they get the right answer? How did they get the right answer? Nobody's saying, I agree with this person because I'm trying to teach them how to, when they get away from school and they get away from us, how can you collaborate and work with someone? And as we all know as adults, some adults have a struggle with that. How do you communicate and work together with somebody? Um, in the kit, uh, I think it has, there's like five different locks. So there's like an alphabetical lock. Uh, there's a digit lock, a key lock. And they even have one of those little secret, you know, coder pins, so they're going to be a detective. They're going to think this is so awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, but, yeah, like I said, it's called Breakout EDU, and I think that you can even get on there. Um, if you don't have a password for it, I, ha I'll, I will have one, and I'll give it to you. And so if you want to make your own boxes, uh, my email is alicia.lewis. It's E-L-I-S-H-A dot Lewis at not and the rest of it. Y'all just hit me up and I'll just get you a little password along there and you get some lessons if you want to try this. So, uh, does anybody have any questions? Hopefully in the spring, like I said, I don't have it yet. We've not tried it, but hopefully they can come back and tell you how excited they are for math this year. So, thank you.